Now we talked about factoring special products, but today what we're going to be doing is talking about the factorization of ax squared plus bx plus c. This is in the term when you are not dealing with special products, but rather just generic trinomials. So in this case we're talking about ax squared plus bx plus c, there it's known as a quadratic expression. So what we will do is talk about how to factorize quadratic expressions. Now in some books you might not see factorize, you might just see the word factor. Or instead of factorization, you'll see factoring. But in this book, we have factorization. Anyway, let's take a look, for example, using algebra tiles, at what x squared plus 5x plus 6 looks like. First, I'm going to go ahead and model that with these tiles. So let's see, there's x squared, now plus 5x. So there's 1, 2, And what I need to do is rearrange these tiles so that they all fit to form a rectangle. And the only way I can do it is to move them around something like this. So then there was my 5x and here's my 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what you can see is that I've gone ahead and made a rectangle out of my tiles. That's really the only way I can move things around other than putting the 3 up on top and the 2 on the bottom in order to get a rectangle. Now what we can see there is, let's see, let me make a little line over here and a little line over here. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do now is factor x squared plus 5x plus 6 with these tiles and I can see, well, in order to get x squared, I need to have x times x, and in order to get, so now in order to get an x, I already have x, so I need an x times 1 will get me x over here, x times 1 gets me x, and now I'm looking at these three x's down here, and I'm already being multiplied by the x up there. So x times 1 is x. x times 1 is another x. x times 1, and that's my third x over here. And then for these blue tiles in here, I see that 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1, 1 times 1, those, those are all my 1's. So I see that the factored form of x squared plus 5x plus 6 is going to equal x plus 2 times x plus 3. Now it's super cool to be able to use tiles all the time and we may be doing that from time to time however you get to a point where you're not really going to want to carry algebra tiles with you everywhere so what we're going to do is talk about the cross method here is how the cross method works first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and set up a cross so we'll set up a line here and a line there All right. let's see let's move this a little up there over there okay now, what first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and write down x squared and my constant term 15 on the left-hand side of this cross over here. Now what I'm going to do is write down a pair of factors of x squared and a pair of factors of 15. So I know that x times x will get me x squared. That's a pair. And now 15. Um, let's try... 1 and 15. That's a factor pair of 15. All right, uh, let's go with positive 1 and positive 15. Now here's the next step. I'm going to check my work. So what I'm going to do is a little cross multiplication here, and I get x times 1 is 1x, and x times 15 is 15x. So then what I do in this third column, I'm going to add them up, and I get 16x. So now I compare these values 
x squared plus 16x plus 15 to my original answer. Is that the same? Oh, no, it's not the same. All right, so what that means is that I chose an incorrect pair of factors for 15. So I'm going to go ahead and erase that and try again. Now you can use po combinations of positive and negative factors, but as I can see, my middle term is positive, my last term is positive. I should really only focus on positive factors. So let's try another factor pair of 15. Let's try 3 and 5. And you know what? Let's change that to red. So now I have, let's change that to red. And so now I'm going to try 3 and 5, because 3 times 5 is a factor pair of 15. Now when I cross multiply, starting with x times 3, I end up with 3x on the top. x times 5, I end up with a positive 5x on the bottom. 3x plus 5x is 8x. So now when I write my pairs in order here, my terms, I get x squared plus 8x plus 15. And I look back up on top, I see my terms match, so what we're going to do is change this into this because what I've seen, I have properly factored x squared plus 8x plus 15. What does that mean? That means that my answer is, as I read this straight across, so we can erase these arrows just so that I can show you what's there. We see that the factored form of x squared plus 8x plus 15 is going to be x plus 3, in parentheses, times x plus 5. That is how the cross method works. So what we can do is go ahead and take another example. This time we're going to go with 2x squared plus 9x plus 10. You can go ahead and try this out on your own or watch me talk you through it. But first step, I have 2x squared and my constant of 10. So what I need to do is think of fac a factor pair that's going to get me 2x squared. Well, I know in order to get an x squared, I need to have x times x. And 2 times 1 will get me 2. So I know that has to be right. Now here's the thing with my factor pair of 10. I need to think of some pairs, factor pairs of 10. I could try 1 and 10. I could try 2 and 5. What I'm going to do is try 2 and 5. 2 times 5 is 10. And they're, I'm going to make them both positive. So now I go ahead to the next step. I'm going to multiply over here. So 2x times 2 is 4x. And x times 5 is 5x, 4x plus 5x is 9x. So when I combine my terms, I get 2x squared plus 9x plus 10, which is exactly the same as over here up on the top, 2x plus squared plus 9x plus 10. Awesome. I got it on the first try. Now, the more you practice using the cross method and the more you work with trinomials, the easier it's going to be to factor and the easier for you it's going to be to find the right numbers the first time. So that means the answer, the factored form of 2x squared plus 9x plus 10 is going to be x plus 2 times 2x plus 5. And this totally beats guessing and checking back and forth every time. I mean, there's still a little guessing involved when you're talking about factor pairs of the constant term, but not as much as we would have done it before, where you would just kind of guess at numbers and hope to get it right. So here's a challenge problem for you. Factorize 30p squared minus 23p minus 14. I'm not going to do it for you, but I will help you get started because I'm such a nice guy. There you go.